three-year-old open trot. Here they come. And there they go. Ask me later. Hanover along the inside is the first to leave. Royal Fox Hanover from between rivals. Then it's Sloney. President is the early trailer as they ramble into that first turn. Emerging with the top, it's Loyal Fox Hanover is in the second spot. Gap of about three lengths for the back to Sloney in third. Then President is the trailer. They straighten up down the backside and on the engine. It's Ask Me Later Hanover has it by two and a half. Now diminishing down to two. Loyal Fox Hanover inches a little bit closer from the second spot. Then it's Sloney in third. President continues in fourth as they make their way around the far turn and past the quarter. Nearing the top of the stretch and Ask Me Later Hanover has the lead by about two. Loyal Fox Hanover continues in the second spot. Sloney in the third spot is now being passed on the outside by President. The quarter went in 29 and two fifth seconds. They come past the stands the first time and Ask Me Later Hanover has the lead by about three. Loyal Fox Hanover trots in the second spot. Gap of a good half dozen back to Sloney in third. Off stride is President. President has made a break as they come past the half. Jason Bartlett and Ask Me Later Hanover. They lead it by about two lengths. Loyal Fox Hanover inches a bit closer as they hit the 5 8 mile marker. The half went in 58 and 2. Down the backside, they're on the way to three quarters. Ask me later, Hanover has the lead. The cadence quickens. Loyal Fox Hanover now alongside second to challenge to take over the lead. He pokes ahead in front of the outside. Loyal Fox Hanover now leads it by half a length as they go past three quarters. Ask me later, Hanover straining to maintain rail position. These two now battle around the far turn. Loyal Fox Hanover continues on the lead. Ask me later, Hanover grimly braces at the rail for the challenge. They come to the top of the stretch, out in the center of the racetrack. Loyal Fox Hanover has the lead. Ask me later, Hanover at the rail. They're nearing the wire. Loyal Fox Hanover, ask me later. Loyal Fox Hanover will do it. Ask me later, Hanover second with Sloney in third. Loyal Fox Hanover scores in the landmark on the first of 13 on Grand Circuit Day at the cradle of the trotter. On the pace, landmark stakes number 37, three-year-old open. Field of six. All set. Here they come. And there they go, stop action, fires from the far outside along with cigars and port. From between rivals Levine, Art Newcomb is there, always on the hunt. Jam that guitar, they jam into that first turn. Emerging with the front, Levine has it three parts of a length. Up on the outside, stop action second, now looks to get a two-hole tuck as Cigars and Port races in third. Down the backside in the fourth spot, Art Newcomb. Then it's a gap of about two lengths for the back to always on the hunt. Jam that guitar is the early trailer. The field makes its way past the quarter mile marker. And Levine has the lead by about two lengths as they make their way around the far turn. And we're racing on the front end. Levine has it by about two. Racing in the second spot is stop action. A gap of about two lengths for the back. Cigars and Port is third. They come past the stands the first time. Levine has it by a little more than a length. Stop action in the second spot, followed by Cigars and Port third. Then it's Art Newcomb in fourth, always on the hunt fifth. Jam that guitar is sixth. They go past the half mile marker and Levine continues on the front end. The quarter went in 27 and three as they make their way around the far turn. They're on the way to the 5 8 mile marker and Levine continues on the front. Stop action is still in the second spot, followed by Cigars and Port in third. Down the backside and Cigars and Port. Ray Schnitger now puts the hammer down and is coming after the leader as they head for three quarters. Levine has the lead. Cigars and Port up on the outside, putting up a challenge. Stop action tucked in along the inside third. Then comes Art Newcomb and always on the hunt. Jam that guitar trails. They make their way around the turn. They're coming towards the top of the stretch. Levine has now extended to a three length lead. And Levine brings them into the lane with an open advantage. Stop action in the second spot. Cigars and port on the outside. But at the wire, it's all Levine. Then it was Cigars and Port second. Always on the hunt was third. Race three. Three-year-old open pace for Phillies. The landmark stakes rolls on here at the cradle of the trotter. Here they come. 
And there they go, Flirty 40 shows good early energy. Rodeo Beach along the inside second with Chuppa on third. Hurricane My Shannon races in the fourth spot as the field are into that first race scrum and Rodeo Beach emerges with the lead. Flirty 40 committed to the outside now, ranges up with Jason Bartlett to go after the leader. Chuppa on races in third. Hurricane My Shannon is in close attendance fourth. It's a battle to the quarter. Rodeo Beach on the inside, Flirty 40 on the outside, neither one giving an inch as they pass the quarter. Now Flirty 40 makes his way to the top, makes her way to the top, I should say, and leads it by a length and a half. Rodeo Beach is back to second, followed by Chuppa on and Hurricane My Shannon. 27 and 2 was the hot opening fraction. Field makes its way past the stands the first time. Jason Bartlett and Flirty 40, they lead it by a length and a half. Rodeo Beach in the second spot with Chuppa on third. Hurricane My Shannon is in the fourth spot. They roll into the clubhouse turn the final time. Flirty 40 has the lead. Rodeo Beach sits chilly in the pocket second. Chuppa on goes a three hole trip in third. Hurricane My Shannon fourth half. 56 and three. Five eighths of a mile down, three eighths of a mile to go. Flirty 40 continues on the lead. Rodeo Beach second, moving to the outside. Chuppa on and Harry Landy are under a full head of steam in third. Hurricane My Shannon is still in it fourth. They go past three quarters. Flirty 40 has the lead. Rodeo Beach is now reclaimed second. Chuppa on starts to drop out of it from third. Hurricane My Shannon fourth. They come to the top of the stretch. Flirty 40 has the top. Rodeo Beach is second. Three quarters went in 126. They turn for home. Flirty 40 has the lead. Rodeo Beach moving to her on the outside. Coming through the stretch. Rodeo Beach and Ray Schnicker in front and drawing away. Then it was Flirty 40 second, Hurricane My Shannon third, and Chuppa on was fourth. The landmark stakes number 38, two year old open trot. We have a field of six. And for the moment, they're all minding their manners. Lovely young gentlemen that they are. Field of six now turns into the stretch, and we are set to go. Here they come. And there they go. Credit Con is the first away. Manuka alongside second. Then comes Catello in third. Seven Nation Army is fourth. Lindy's Crazy Love is fifth. French Hops is the early trailer. Around the first turn and emerging with the top, it's Manuka with a three-quarter length lead now up alongside second and challenge. Here comes Credit Con to take over the top as they straighten away down the backside. It's a big gap, maybe eight lengths. Catello races in the third spot. Then comes Seven Nation Army, followed by Lindy's Crazy Love and French Hops is the trailer. They ramble past the quarter and Credit Con has the lead by about two lengths. Manuka is in the second spot, followed by Catello in third. Seven Nation Army is fourth, followed by Lindy's Crazy Love in fifth. French Hops is the trailer. They roll to the top of the stretch and Credit Con and Cordy Stratton, they show the way by about two. Manuka is in the second spot, followed by Catello in third, the quarter in 29 and one. They move past the stands the first time. Catello's off stride. Catello has made a break. Credit Con leads it to the half. Manuka in the second spot, Seven Nation Army, and Schnitger now making up some ground on the outside. Third, back trotting is Catello. As they make their way around the turn, they're on the way to the 5 8 mile marker. And continuing on the front end, that is Credit Con on the lead. Manuka continues in second, off the half in one minute, four fifths. Down the backside, they're nearing the three quarter mile marker, and Credit Con extends to a two and a half length advantage. Manuka is second, followed by Seven Nation Army in third. A big gap back to Catello in fourth, then comes French Hops in fifth, and the trailer off stride is Lindy's Crazy Love. Around the turn, they come towards the top of the stretch, and Credit Con continues on a three length lead. Manuka cannot eat into that advantage. Seven Nation Army is third. They come to the top of the stretch, three quarters, 130 and two. Through the lane, Credit Con. Moving well on the lead, Manuka's made a break. Seven Nation Army now into second, but it's gonna be Credit Con to hit the wire first. Seven Nation Army second, Manuka off stride while third, then Catello was fourth. And there they go, hired hand with a burst of speed goes for the lead. Stop staring from between rivals second. Air guitars away in third. Mullinax is fourth. 
They battle into that first turn. Air Guitar emerges with a short advantage, stops staring alongside second. Hired hand up on the far outside. Three of them across the track. They straighten up down the backside, and Air Guitar has a narrow advantage. Hired hand now up on the outside and under a full head of steam. Hired hand has made the lead. Air Guitar is back to second, followed by Stop Staring in third. Then comes Mullinax in fourth, a length and a half further back. No Filter races in fifth. Then comes Bud Truck in sixth. He's a snob. Races in the seventh spot, and the trailer is Red Bolt. 28 and four is the opening quarter mile marker. Air Guitar has the lead as they make their way past the stands the first time. But up on the outside, now moving to the top, Stop Staring has made the lead. So we've had our third new leader. Stop Staring leads them by the half. Air Guitar in the second spot with Hired Hand in third. Mullinax commits to the outside, races up on the rim, uncovered in fourth as they ramble around that far turn. Now poking ahead in front, Mullinax and Jason Bartlett after a half in 59 and two. Five eighths of a mile down, three eighths of a mile to go. Down the backside, Mullinax extends to a three length advantage. Along the inside, stop staring, trying to hang in there for second. Racing up on the outside, no filter in Steve Smith third. Then it's Air Guitar in fourth. He's a snob is in fifth, followed by Hired Hand, who's now back to sixth. Then it's Bud Truck seventh, Red Bolt eighth. They make their way around the turn. They're coming towards the top of the lane. And Mullinax and Jason Bartlett are threatening to make this one a blowout. Three quarters, 128 and one. Coming through the stretch, Mullinax showing his heels to the field. He is moving easily at the wire. It's going to be Mullinax in today's fifth race. Stop staring was second. He's a snob was third.